all right so now we can open up the inventory by pressing i and select different weapons and view those weapons but still uh, we haven't implemented a way to close this inventory so that's the next thing we are going to look at all right so first let's open the character blueprint and show inventory so here if we press this again we should close the inventory. I'll make this fire when paused, even though we are not far pausing the game at the moment. I'll do it. And here I'll add a flip flop. And in the next press, I'll call the open inventory with the close. That means with the false input. right now I don't think we have implemented closing part in the inventory so let's go to the definition of this method this event yeah this is in hard shooter so if we get this function called with the false we we need to close this but at the moment we are not keeping a reference to the inventory so when we create it let's promote this to a variable i'll call it inventory and use that when we get this with the false let's get the inventory turn this into a validated get and if yes we need to close this but here in the bp inventory we don't have a function yet to close it so Let me add a comment. Initialize add a custom event cross inventory. Now here if we have a inventory widget and if it is already added to the wayward let's first this also let's turn the into a validated get is in viewport this help us to get warnings when they when we try if we try to remove this when it is not in the viewport so if yes from remove from parent and then uh, we need to can we destroy this no all right then let's uh, destroy the inventory actor wait also let's we need to set the UI mode back to game 
and uh, I think it would be better if I do that here wait hold on okay I do it here so yeah let's do it here also dead player controller set input mode to game only set show mouse cursor to false we should have a common method to take care of these input parts perhaps in a player controller or in the heart but for now let me do it this way Should we do this stuff here? In case object get destroyed before we call this part. Okay. Now, even if this is not in viewport, we still need to complete these steps. Right. Now close inventory function is implemented and I should call it here. Okay, let's try now. Press I, we get the inventory. Press I again, nothing happens. Okay, oh wait. There is no way I'm gonna that is going to work because here yeah, I said the input mode to UI only. Right, then what we can do? Let's have a close button. I'll anchor it to the top left. PT and close. Now instead of this image, do we have anything that looks like a close button? No. Then let's add a text. This capital X. This looks like 
looks enough like a close button right perhaps a bit larger right now ptn close let's create an event on click we already have a reference to VP inventory. Close inventory. Okay, now actually this flip flop has no use for the moment, so I'll ignore that part for now. And test. Press I. Close. So right, we are back in the game. Nice. And one other thing I want to fix this. Fix in this episode is when I open in Android, even though I have selected the rifle, I still don't see that as the selected weapon because uh, they all look in the same color so let's do something about that mm. here when we hover tint is changing Okay, color and opacity. Wait, what about the background color? Doesn't make anything. What about this one? Oh, sorry. Select one of these buttons. Oh, nice. So I'll make that one yellow. Right. Let me reset it. So once we click a button, we have this change weapon macro. Mm -hmm. Let's add an out from here. And let's give a reference to the current button inside this change weapon macro so first uh, let's get references to all three buttons and set the what's the color we are I said I'm gonna change it's background right yeah oh wait background set background color all three and initially make it white oh, we can simply pick it here and then for only one button we should make it yellow for a selected button and that button we can pass it as a parameter so selected button 
All right. How uh, here? This is a special weapon. So special weapon goes in. Primary weapon goes in here, and the handgun goes in here. Okay, what's the error? Primary. Oh, hold on. This is an extra parameter, even though it's not a big deal. I think we can do better than this. Simply use a select and choose the category use the category and remove the selected button input then if it is primary then primary and gun secondary special special we don't have binocular used in the inventory, so it's fine. Okay. All right. Now let's test. I see. Now this one is already yellow, so that means it is selected. And when I click on the sniper, it's yellow. And go now it left as yellow. Okay, and if I press close, it closes. Open again, same thing. All right. So I'm gonna stop this episode right here. Thanks for watching. As always, project files will be available for the download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And if you like to support my work. You can get the membership of the Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.